let's understand the concept of congruency the objects we see around us have geometrical properties such as shape and size they also have properties other than geometrical properties such as color texture and material they are made up of we say two objects are congruent based on their geometrical properties only this means two objects can be congruent if their shape and size are same even their colors are different or for that matter their texture and material they are made up of can also be different but the objects will remain congruent as long as their shape and size are same let's look at some examples of congruent objects what do we have here hmm we have two fiat linias these are two cars from the same company and same model so we can understand that their size and shape will be same so are they congruent yes they are congruent because they have the same size and shape but are they identical no these cars are not identical we can see that one car is black in color and the other one is white in color so how can they be identical What do we have here? We have two spheres of same radius. One is made up of metal and the other one made up of glass. Are they congruent? Yes, they are congruent because their shape and size are same. But can we say they are identical? Well, they are not identical because one sphere is made up of metal and the other one is made up of glass. their materials are different so how can they be identical let's consider some pairs of cylinders and let's see how they look when they are placed in front of one another here we have two cylinders of different sizes that means they have the same height but different radius radius of this cylinder is lesser than radius of this cylinder let's see how they look when cylinder of lesser radius is kept in front of the cylinder with larger radius we can see both the cylinders here because size of both the cylinders was not same and hence the cylinders are not congruent Once again we have a pair of cylinders of different sizes this time we have different height and same radius let's see how these cylinders look when the cylinder of lesser height is placed in front of the cylinder with greater height once again we can see both the cylinders as size of the cylinders was not same and hence the cylinders are not congruent now we have two cylinders whose sizes are same that means they have the same height and same radius let's see how they look when one cylinder is placed in front of the other this is the case when we had considered the cylinders of same shape and size that means same height and same radius So the cylinders are congruent and that is why when one cylinder is placed in front of the other we see them as one Now let's see all the three cases together After having learned about 3D objects let's get back to 2D objects Let's take an example of two dimensional objects Here we have two rectangles. First one is this rectangle and second one is this rectangle. Both the rectangles have same length and breadth. Question is are they congruent? 
So for congruency, they should have the same shape and size because both are rectangles, that means they have the same shape and because their length and breadth are same, that means they have the same size also. So they have the same shape and same size, that is why these two rectangles are congruent. But why don't they look congruent? Because we have placed one rectangle horizontally and the other one vertically. Why don't they cover each other? If we separate the two rectangles like this and then rotate this one to arrange them like this and now if we place one rectangle over the other they will appear as one. Sometimes we have to do this in order to know whether the objects have the same shape and size and whether they are congruent or not. Let's take one more example of two-dimensional objects. Here we can see some circles and we have to pick the circles which are congruent. If radii of the first circle and the last circle is equal, then only they will be able to cover each other completely. So for the first circle and the last circle to be congruent, their radii should be same. So we can conclude here, if radii of two circles are same, that means the circles are congruent. Let's summarize what we have learned from this video. Congruency is applicable to 3D objects as well as 2D objects. Congruency is based on geometrical properties that means for objects to be congruent, they should have the same shape and size. Congruency can be checked by a simple experiment. In case of 3D objects, we keep them next to each other and view from both sides and if they appear as one, then the objects are congruent. In case of 2D objects, we keep one on the top of the other and if they completely cover each other, then the shapes are congruent.